Okie dokie folkies. So, I've had a couple of days of very hardcore painting and I'm very sorry about the, uh, the mess that is my desk. What we have here is the first Storm Eagle that I made. This is the one that had the original tutorial video done on it. So, that's all done and sorted and it sits quite high compared to most flyers on its base. The base itself up on the first story of the building there. So that worked out quite well. After that is a slightly slower uh, lower base. Again building ruins. The ruins are raised slightly from the ground with that pipe work underneath there and everything sits and supports it quite nicely on the cross pole there. So Storm Eagle number two same pattern across the cockpit for the reflections everything's all in there and the nostrum and skull painted on the doors the paint chipping effects the different shadows and tones in the blues all in all sorted and as for storm eagle number one the rocket pods have been under slung and unlike Storm Eagle number one, change the LAS cannon heads for the demon tank accessories that you can get with the Chaos kits just to make it a little nastier. So, twin LAS cannons, the normal Vengeance rocket launcher, and on the front there, the multi melter. Now this Storm Eagle, the second Eagle, this doesn't open, none of the doors actually function on this one, it is just a sealed kit, so I wanted to get it built and done pretty quickly. So that's Eagle number two. Eagle number three sits on the original flying base that you will have seen that I made as part of the Storm Eagle tutorial that I did. I made the third eagle sit on this base because I wanted this eagle to be the lowest. Of all of my eagles this is the only one that has its landing gear down so I wanted it to be down quite low. So heavy bolters on the front of this one rather than the melters, door at the side again, all painted in, paint chips and so on filled in, this one does have these trophy racks on the back as well, so it's a little more chaotic. If we come around to the side here, we have our little marine exiting through the doorway there, which took a little bit of doing. So this Storm Eagle, because I wanted it to be different, we have this guy stepping out of the side, and this is the one that has our magnetised top section. So all I've done with the inside is just dry brush it. Same for the inside here. And I want to say thank you guys. There have been some lovely suggestions about what I can put front and back in here. That's something I might, I'm going to look at after the, um, after the Istvan game. Because between now and then, really, I haven't got the time to do it. So... Three Storm Eagles as part of the fleet. The other bit that's going in 
is the case, the solstice, however you want to put it, a salt ram. So, this is the flying base for the assault ram. Originally, when I built this, this front section carried out a little bit further and a little bit higher up. So there was a clear gap here and I was going to have the ram protruding this way through it, just as though it was smashing through the building. But that's a very, very large footprint to have on the table to, to walk around. And I know my friend Luke, um, he complains bitterly about my flying bases because he says, it's not right, they've got buildings on them, buildings shouldn't move. He's right, buildings shouldn't move. But I quite like it. And more often than not, these are going to be sat on a shelf looking pretty rather than, you know, being used. I'm not much of a player. So, on here... I have, for the sake of gaming, tweaked the direction that it sits so that it creates less of an obstruction rather than that. Obviously, in gaming rules, I do know that sorry, scenery on bases doesn't count towards line of sight and the like, but it just makes life a little bit easier. And onto here, we put the assault ram. So this assault ram is going to be carrying nine cataphract armoured terminators and my Praetor, which is my model for Sevatar. But in the game will not be Sevatar because Mark Potter, the other Night Lord player, has taken Sevatar as his leader. Which um, is fair, because, you know, I have Kurs, so he gets free reign of his characters. So in the middle here we've got the Magnum Elter which at the moment still looks pretty clean. I've gone over it with um, Null Oil. I need to um, go over this with some black weathering powders to create some soot on the end of the barrel and across the inside of the rams here I want to put some soot on. On the front section, because I don't ever put lightning on my vehicles, I've put one of the Night Lord's transfers just above the armoured cockpit there. And also on the wing sections. I'm not a massive fan of transfers to be honest because they always have this little Let's zoom in. Ooh, no, lost the focus completely. They always have this little area around them where you can just see the edge of the transfer. And I've never really been a fan of that and I, I try to cut them as small as I can to uh, to minimize that but it doesn't always work. So, the Assault Ram, Magnum Elter, Missile Pods, full of Terminators. And just so you can see the underside as well of this one. Vents, a bit more armour chipping, and the anti-grab stuff there. Righty dokey folks, so um, I didn't think it would happen but all the flyers are painted, all the troops are painted, all of the um, fast attack options are painted, the jet bikes are painted, I have managed to get everything painted for my game for Istvan on the 2nd of March. God only knows how and there goes my gum flying out my mouth. Uh, it's going to be fun to pick off the carpet in a moment. Um, yeah, everything is done, everything is sorted, so coming up soon for you guys is going to be the overview of the entire army on a table, um, so squads with their flyers and the assault squads milling around, the jet bikes, the whole thing, I'll do a whole this is my army so far, um, I will probably have a couple of extra units in there that I've got that aren't part of the list, seeing as I've changed my army now to be rights of war all flyers, so I've got um, contempt to dreads, uh, a couple of rhinos and uh, a plasma Demios Predator Executioner, I think it is, um, that I can pop on the table as well that you can see, just so that all of the forces are allied together there. 
Um, thank you for following the Night Lords project. It's been it's been a slog <laughs> to get these done uh, in the time that I have. And I'm going to be moving on to other things now. Um, uh, someone asked me the other day what's happening with my Death Guard. I'll be able to look at those again. But I have a real hankering at the moment to pick my Tyranids back up because I haven't touched them in forever. And I have got so many unpainted Tyranids that it's just not even funny. And now that there's models for them, I quite like the idea of trying to put together a Turvagon army. So, um, Turvagon is the HQ choice, two other Turvagons and two small squads of Termagaunts, so that the other two Gons um, are classed as troops choices. And then it's just spawn, 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 spawn. Which I know is painting a lot of squads. Um, I have one squad of 20 Termagants painted. I have about 60 unpainted termagants at the moment and I may have just bought a load more because I've been trying to get hold of the old style plastic ones uh, the little ones with the, the curved tail because I quite like the idea of my spawned termagants being a little bit smaller than the normal ones you know, put together on the spot so that's been running around in my head plus I still have that Necron Megaforce to build uh, obviously the Death Guard, my Renegade Guard but I'm, I'm feeling the termagants at the moment, I'm feeling the termagants. We'll see what happens. Again, thank you so much folks, uh, it's been a killer week. I'm going to go and uh, prep more stuff for work now because I've got some lesson prep to do. But that's me sorted, and uh, yeah, the next video will be Istvan. You will see a lot of coverage for the Istvan game on Templar's Crusader 1's channel. And you will see a lot on... Well, I say a lot, you'll see a little bit on mine as well. So thank you for watching, folks. You guys have been amazing. And I will see you all in the near future. Bye.